Well, good day, tubes. How's she going? So we got one of them sort of slobberly, kind of rainy, crappy, kind of crappy days outside. Apparently, it's supposed to be like that the rest of the week. So they're saying, but you know, it'll probably change by tomorrow, kind of thing. So, but um, uh, so we're kind of sort of staying inside today. I figured we maybe take a bit of time, to make up some uh, those decals and stuff I was mentioning there. Sunday mail day. So what my plan was today was um, cutting out some of the uh, older style sort of vintage John Deere looking decally kind of things. So I got a couple on the Dewey here ready to go so let's have a quick look. Come on buddy. There you go. So I can't tell you what uh, era is what or what you know year is what. Oh, that stupid monitor, stupid old thing. But anyways, we got um, four different ones here from different vintages, and I th think this one might be one of the older ones. This one was maybe next or vice versa, and then they probably went from this one to this one to today's modern looking one um, with more of the ovaly thing, right? Or I might be wrong, I don't know. But anyways, uh, these were all uh, black. Um, stupid monitor. So, uh, I'm just going to cut them out as black, I guess. So Now, some of this might be a little different because this one should actually have a, a white background behind it too, which it doesn't seem to want to uh, have when I cut out. So we might have to... Um, reconfigure that fella there maybe a little bit so but anyways uh, let's get some black loaded in the, uh, in the Dewey machine here and uh, we'll uh, try slicing a few of these out all right so freaking screen I'm gonna have to get a new screen I know the screen's fine but it doesn't like the camera but <clears throat> anyways what I got a brainwave going on here is I made this um, grayish background you can't quite see her I know but this grayish background. Oh, for freak's sake, you stupid screen. Okay. <laughs> I made this grayish background as per the size of a sheet of paper, the 8.5 by 11, which should fit in one of those brownie envelopes. And I'm thinking um, that grayish thing there, maybe we'd stick that on a sheet of uh, banner material, because that would be the white, and, uh, and then stick this uh, black thing over top. So, we're going to start with one of them first. We'll do a few of them. You know, I like to kind of do them because I got 24 inch sheet, so I might as well do it all the way across the sheet, right? So, oh, the stupid screen. I apologize for that. So, let's hit the cut button up here. Now you can see her. That's on the sheet of stuff there. So, that's the one side, that's the other side. So, what I'm going to do is turn it up the other way. Just drag it over a wee bit. I like to leave a little bit of rooms on the side there. So, so we got one, we can fit two, three, uh, can't quite get four on. Now sometimes if you reorganize it again, like that'll fit four, but eh. Now, what if we switch it back that way? We can get four. No, that won't work either. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it that way. And uh, we'll just do three for now, I guess. And we just hit send. And it should be doing a thingy center, and away we go. So we'll let that cut out and uh, pull all the bits off we don't want. Alright, so we got this cut. Took a few minutes, but not too bad, not too bad. So let's get uh, the outside piece peeled off first. I like to kind of get rid of that first. Get the rest of it kind of exposed. That's good. And I guess the outside of the outside of this can come off. Stuck to your fingers and stuff like wicked sticky. Good stuff, I like it. And I did three of these, right? So we got three of these to do. And I got a little bit of a banner material cut there. I haven't cut the, the widths yet, but I cut the length. Okay, now. 
do believe we need to... I gotta make sure I do this the right way too, right? Okay. Hang on a sec. <laughs> I can't remember now. Okay, so... The deer and... All these letters have to come out. center of that A is going to be a nuisance, yeah. So I pick them up first. Grab my other knife here and pick out the A. And put this feller back in. Something like that. It's quality. This A is probably going to, oh, no, that one's good. Quality farm. Just get a bit closer here for you. And eco yep. meant. Okay, get all these things off my fingers. And now the John Deere's got to stay, but. We need to peel out this one. Gotta watch around the little deer here, because he's gonna be uh, gonna rip him, rip him off. That are pretty easy. So there. Okay. And there's a couple little deweys on Buddy. And those little deweys there. There we go. That didn't come out too bad. Okay, so... Sticky things all over me. Okay, so we'll do the same for these other two. Make sure you guys can see that. Sorry, I keep putting my hand in the wheel. It's hard to remember sometimes to work around the camera, right? Now maybe the last one... I'll try going the other way with it. Although, no, that won't work. Because then we won't have a deer. So that won't work. Ah, crap. The center of the P came out there. I didn't notice it. It was too late. Okay, so I'm trying to pick this thing off of here now, but I can barely see it. Where did the pea go? Okay. <laughs> so now I don't know if you'll be able to see that. No, probably not. But it's stuck to the other letter now, so it's going to be a... Uh... Oh, I got it. Uh, okay, where was I here? Equipment. Ah! Then you can't tell which side's the sicky side. Okay, I got her now. <laughs> where the heck am I here? Gear down. There. The N T. Okay, now. We got that off. We can peel this off. And Let me think about this for a sec here. If I cut, I'm just going to do a little experiment here. If I cut that deer off, and uh, peel this off here, and then peel all the deweys out of the letters like this, instead of actually peeling the letters and leaving the insides, might work. Oh, get off my fingers! 
Okay, now we need to... Hmm. Okay, well, let's pull the deer out. And then we'll pull these John Deere ones out here. Sorry for the hand in the way again there. Okay, so that's sort of taken it the other way. But now we got an extra border around here, like this one, which normally would have come out. So I think I'm just going to peel it right out. There. It's a little different, eh? So there's three of them. I'm going to put them aside for now. We're going to cut out some of these other ones. Okay, so there is the second round. And like I was mentioning, I don't know what era these ones are all from and years and stuff. I did have actually a pan flippy thingy one day there, a little flyery kind of thingy I picked up at one of the shows we went to and it did say from this date to this date and that date to that date for these ones but I can't freaking remember where that went now. <laughs> so I guess you probably could google it and it would probably tell you but uh, not, too, uh, not too bothered by it I guess. Okay, so, the deer stays black, the letters stay black, and the outside ring stays. So we really much got to just peel, I should probably start from this side, peel the entire Dewey off. I like this one. Quick and easy. And pick out these Deweys. That's a nice one. Now, can we go the other way with that? We could... I guess we'll take this outside ring off because we don't need it and then take uh, the letters out. That's a nice simple basic logo. The next couple I got coming up are uh, going to be a schmite bit different. I got the Moline one there, and it's pretty complex. So that, that doesn't look too bad that way either. Kind of nice to have the ring around it, but uh, I think I'm going to do this one like the first one we did there. Like that. Bang, bang, bang. That was, that was a lot easier, that one. Holy. Okay, now let's set up and we'll get the uh, the next set going here. All right, so we're just about to uh, flick the camera on, and uh, there's someone at the door. A good old buddy of mine there, he needs some, imagine, John Deere decals made for his hood. <laughs> He's got this uh, new tractor, well, a tractor he picked up in the States or somewhere at one of the big shows, and uh, I guess she come with this hood on it. He's got a new hood for it, and uh, wants some new, uh, some new Deweys made up for it. So I've got a big project to do, but uh, I'll finish this one first, but I'll have to do that uh, probably another time, because i got to get... Um, color I don't have which this is like an off-white sort of it's not white and it's not really you know like a beige so I'll have to see what I can get but anyways um this is the I think one of the olderest ones oh crap oh crap we just lost one uh, see how sticky that stuff is it's pretty wicked okay uh Screen here again. Make sure I'm doing it the right way. Maybe that one's okay, but mm, no, I think we screwed her. But actually, I can maybe go the other way with it. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I can't. You can maybe say we yet. Okay, so this one we need to fold everything out except the letters and everything. So that's actually pretty easy. It's going to be tricky around the Dewey here, but. Um, let me just make sure I got you in a good spot. All right, now this one I'm gonna have to be fairly careful with. Uh, I'll turn it this way so you guys can see a little more better. Just gotta sort of watch the way stuff's peeling out. Yeah, this uh, this fella here, he's like 
83 years old or something like that. He's still he's in real good shape. Still goes and collects, you know, old John Deere tractors. He likes the, the lawn and garden stuff, you know, the smaller stuff. And he's got, I've made stickers for him before, actually. And he's got, oh, man, he's got, oh, he's got to have about 30 of these different things now, you know. So, but yeah, he's a super nice fella. Okay, so there's that one. And that wasn't actually too bad. And we'll do the same to this one. I think I've got the down pressure of the cutting knife just bang on right now because it's just perfect. It's not enough that it's actually cutting through the paper, but it's not uh, so light that it doesn't cut through the stuff to, uh, you know. Okay, now. This one, I don't know how this is going to turn out here, so we'll, uh, we'll try her. John, I'd like to uh, do a little bit of a video over there for you guys at his uh, collection of stuff, but I don't know if you like that too much. He's actually into... Um, Case garden and lawn and garden trackers quite a bit too, so Moline, Illinois. Let's get rid of these. Come on. And Mr. Deer, where are you? Where's a good place to pull you from? You got too many legs sticking up, buddy. That's just perfect. Okay, now this is going to be the true test here. Oh, sweet. There we go. So that's basically like a negative thing, right? Negative and the positive and... Yeah. So anyways, we got... Is that it? One, two, three... No, we're missing one. Hang on. Gotta cut some more. Okay, so 1969 Chevy Malibu. Remember him over in uh, Newmarket? I dropped the bucket off to him that day there. He uh, sent me a letter there uh, and ordered a bit of a custom sign for his fence there. So I'll probably do it up today. And I'll get that sent back over to you likely, hopefully, tomorrow. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. Because um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow too, so I don't have much else to do. But yeah, that's him there. So, and uh, if you want to. Send me anything, there's my address, courtesy of 1969 Shelby, Mal Shelby Malibu. Thanks, buddy. So anyways, uh, he's uh, got a bit of a thing he wants to put on a banner there, and uh, I might uh, film showing that. Uh, better get his permission first, though. Is it okay, buddy, if I if I uh, film making that sign for you? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? So uh, let me know. And... Uh, we're working on the last uh, decals here, and we'll uh, get them peeled out. Well, while we're waiting for that to finish, I figure maybe I cut these uh, these uh, eight and a half by elevens out here. So we got our um, eleven, and then we want to get our eight and a half this way. So pretty close. I'm not going to be like you know laser precision bang right on with it, but. Uh, get her fairly close so I got her set there I just use a t-square and a pretty good sharp knife and you just want to make sure you push down nice and just don't go <laughs> and cut her you just want to go really slow because you want to make sure you're pushing pressure against the, the thing here so you don't kind of go whoa and then it looks you know like screwed so I'll just take my time That should be cut. Looks like that. So we'll do another one. Find where our eight and a half starts. Eight and a half. Ooh, bang right on. And uh, get her fairly square along the bottom so it doesn't look, you know, screwy or something. You should measure, 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 you know, but I just kind of go with it because I believe my T square is fairly square. Oh, sweet, we're done. Should be good. I think we got enough for two more here. 
This stuff's not too bad to cut, really, so... It's actually not too bad, really. It's not super, super thick stuff, so... But it does have, like, a, a ribbing, whatever you call it, stuff in it as well, so... Uh, that last one will maybe keep as that for now. Okay, so we got the other ones right here, and we just go peel them off. And well, there we be. Put the T square thing down there. We'll get you guys back into position here. And okay, we'll peel the outside and roll the leaf. I like this one, it's a little bit pointier. Jabs into the, the vinyl and peels it up for you a little better. Almost need a longer arm. Holy. Okay. Now, I gotta look at my dewey here again. Okay, so it's like the other one that's pretty much pull everything out. So we'll pull the outside. Get off my finger. Pull that outside. And pull that outside. And the ring stays and the rest comes out. So it's not too bad. Start down here. And I'm going to kind of go up and around. Oh, I stuck on there. And then there's a little bit here in his antler edges, like that. And we'll pick those out. And do the same for this one. And do his antler ridges. Like that. Now, let's think about if we did this one the other way, we'd have to lose the outside ring. We're gonna peel the deer himself out. Something like that. And then we gotta peel all the John Deere Deweys out of here. Ah! hasn't stuck to itself yet so that's good it's not too bad if the sticky stuff sticks down to the non sticky stuff but if the sticky stuff sticks to the sticky stuff yeah you're uh, you're screwed you're in trouble there okay too bad and there we go okay now we will get some masking material. Where the, did I put it? There it is. And hopefully that's, yeah, good. Okay. So let's do one of these. And I'm going to need my screedery thing, this guy. Get, um,. Mask on there. And I do have a smaller roll somewhere else, right down there, too. And uh, save having to rip out a whole big sheet of that, right? Now, this one I was having a bit of issue with, with it kept ripping and stuff, so I don't know if it's the way Buddy has cut this roll for me or. What's going on? Let's do too bad there. Okay. 
pull that. I'll just give this a trim. Get rid of that extra garbage. Okay. Now, make sure you get the right side of your paper vinyl stuff up. And a couple of different ways you could do this. I didn't really have enough room between it, but you could peel it off and then tape it on to here and then maybe I'll actually do it that way. Um, oh, I didn't leave myself enough room though, so I think we're making me gonna shoot one in the dark here. Just peel the, the decal off. Put this down. And we're just gonna eyeball her a wee bit. Something like that. Super stuck and good. This stuff usually sticks to this pretty good. Now, once you put her out in the sun, oh, buddy, does she bake on? I'm peel that off, and pretty much this tape you can only use her once because it seems to get less stickier when uh, after you peeled it off. So I usually just use her the once and then chuck her. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we need to install. Oh yeah, some of these little hanger dewy button thingy grommet thingies, and that consists of that's one of the ends there that gets crimped down, and that's like the little ring that crimps that crimps around. So, to use this thing, I'll turn it that way with my handle, you gotta put the, the one with the little collar up under there. And the other one fits in the little groovy things there. And you should line it up and measure it and stuff, but I kinda just, you know, eh, that looks good. So, this thing will actually cut through here, here. And crimps it around and installs it and there you go there's your your hanger dewey so we'll get um, another one here these things come in I think a pack of a thousand or something like that it's pretty wicked and ah, just like that and there's a little piece that sort of chops out right so there we go. Sometimes it's good. That's not a very big one, but sometimes it's good to uh, put one in the middle too. And then you can, because sometimes it'll it'll hang and it'll kind of sag in the middle, something sort of like that. But this isn't a very big one, so that should be okay. All right. Now I'm done with them. I wouldn't mind doing one of these fellers. And. Same deal again, we're going to mask it. That. This uh, mask tape stuff here, I get it in a, it comes in a four foot roll and where place where I get my stuff down the city, they uh, have a big slicer cutter thing so you can pretty much get whatever you want cut out of it, you know. I get right up from, uh, oh, the biggest I got, I think, is a 24 inch. I don't hardly ever use it, though. It's pretty huge. And uh, right down to the, like that sort of size of stuff. So, let's take one of these off. And, I'm just gonna eyeball over this one, too. Probably off, but I'm sure she'll serve her purpose as intended. Sometimes it's weird. It looks fine here, but as soon as you pull the stuff off it, it's like, ah, you can see it then, right? Whereas sometimes you can't see it here. This doesn't look too bad, though. Okay. Oh, she's got a grip. 
Okay, so let's pull our dewy out of here again. And we'll grab a come on. Pull of them. Two of them. We'll put a dewy up there. The ring dewy there. And you can also get different uh, sizes of these things too. Let me just pull this off of here. This dewy here, you can get. Oh, hang on. You can get different sizes too, right? For that, so there's different sizes of these dies. And for the bottom too, same deal. That just pulls out. Put a new size in. If you got smaller ones or something for say. And uh, I just use this one size. So. Okay. And we'll put one more in here. Better really watch too. These things, the bottom ones will stick together. And then you'll have, uh, I've never done it before, but and then you'll have uh, two of them uh, trying to jam in at one time and it usually doesn't go over too well. So there's that one. And we've got one sheet left. Now. I'm kind of thinking I want to put one of them on a sheet too. That'd look pretty sweet. And now we'll maybe do one of these again. Oh, I can't quite get her all with one sheet here. Oh, maybe I can. Pretty darn close. Close enough. Okay. Piece. All right, now we'll just peel this off of here. Pull our last sheet in here, right over there. It's a little bit small for this size of sheet, but that's not too bad. Okay, now let's see if we can get this off of here. That is good. And bring in our blue buddy. Slap one of those on. Only one will slap one of those on. Slap one of those on. And that will do her. Doesn't look too, too bad. So let's get them aligned here. We'll have a look. Oh, well, those look pretty sweet, you know? I don't know which one I like the best. I kind of like the shape of this one, but I like the old sort of vintage of this one. And this one's sort of like today's, which is, you know, kind of somewhat close to that, which is somewhat close to these so yeah there's a couple of different history lessons there I guess to be learned but uh, anyways that's pretty sweet so I don't know what else I got to do today I guess maybe I'll try doing 1969 Chevy Malibu's there and I uh, got to load in some red and we'll maybe get that one cut out too all right, so we got 1969 Chevy Malibu's going here, and I, I'm gonna do you two, buddy, because uh, I, you know I kind of like to fill up the sheet there. So I'll do one. Uh, I'll do one. I'll throw one on the, the banner stuff for you, and then the other one I'll just leave loose, kind of on the sticky papery stuff still, so you can kind of put it where you want, you know. So, whoa. anyways, that's gonna be a minute or two, and uh, we'll pull those out.
No, I know I didn't ask your permission or didn't wait for you to give the permission that I could go ahead and do it, but I'm pretty sure you won't have a problem with it. So, but anyways, <laughs> here we go. Okay, we are good to go. And we'll peel the outside dewy first. The outside, oh no! No, don't do that to me. There you go, Dill. Oh, oh <laughs> so dirty, it won't even stick to you. Holy. Okay, uh, hang on, I gotta look at my screen again. I can't remember. Okay. So basically, with the white uh, banner material, we are going to peel off these letters. Oh, how come whenever I start the camera, I feel like I have a sneeze? Uh oh. Okay. So that's reserved. What is 1969 Chevy Malibu reserving? Okay. I should have put some cross cutting lines there because this is a big hunk we got to cut off of here. So I think I'm going to do one right here. Oops. And we'll peel this one off. And we'll peel, get off my fingers. And we'll peel these off. Back up a bit here so you guys can see better. There's a dehumidifier. Must be getting damp down here. And okay. Now. 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 We need to peel off this outside too so I know what the heck I'm doing. There. That's looking a little bit more like a sign. And. Cut this here too. Yeah, I can set it up in my cutting program to actually cut these for me, but I kind of forgot about that. Oh, oh, yeah, he stayed there, stay. And good. And we'll peel off these. And the last one here, hopefully we can get it all in one swipe. Something like that. Thank you, Sir Dylan. Sir Dilly 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 Dilly. There we go. Okay, let's have a good look at her here. Oh, there we go, buddy. She's looking pretty good. So I got the sheet of the banner cut here ready to stick her, but we gotta do some masking first. Uh, so we'll probably just use this stuff, two of those, that way I should get her. And uh, the other one I'll mask and just uh, stuff her in the package for you as well. And uh, you can, you know, stick her on your wall or right on your car or something, whatever you want. So anyways, uh, let's get this masked up and then uh, we'll get, the, uh, get her stuck onto the uh, banner machine. All right, so I think we're all good to go. We got her centered on the banner. And what we're gonna do is just peel the dewy off of here. Oh, there we go. Oh, any longer arms. Okay, I think we made her. And as long as you keep her square, it should go to where it should go.
hopefully we don't have any bubbles, but actually it's this stuff weird because it seems to, uh, I don't know, it's when it starts to, sh it, it will shrink a bit, and when it shrinks, it seems to um, push the bubbles out, or, I don't know, somehow the air gets out of it, and a month or so in the sun, you'll never even see any bubbles in it, it's really weird. Okay, now, we should be able to peel this off of here now. There we go. Okay, let's have a look. Doesn't look too bad. I left a little bit extra room up here so I could put a three grommets and I think it should have three. So let's grab our grommet machine here and we'll uh, fire some in for them. All right, so do the same as before. One there, one there. Put the corner in. There. And you should really measure from there to the center, but uh, it's not that big of a one, so I'm just going to fire one in here. Get her in the rough center ish. Should be right around there. Okay, I'm gonna put a couple on the bottom for him too, just because he might, uh, if he's hanging outside, it might start to flap kind of thing, you know, so he'll be able to tie her down in the bottom too. Bannered up. Alrighty, so that is going to be here, I guess, for today. We got uh, 1969 Chevy Malibu stuff all ready to rock there, so we're going to send that probably over to you tomorrow, buddy. And uh, <coughs> pardon me, it shouldn't take too long. And I threw a couple other little goodies in there for you, so I'm pretty sure you'll like them. So, um, anyways, um, don't know what we're going to be getting up to tomorrow. I got to get them pumpkins in. I'll tell you, we might not have them ready for Halloween, but um, we'll see what happens. Maybe, 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 maybe tomorrow I can get into doing that. Hopefully. And then um, we'll get the uh, real life farm sim Saturday up for you. <laughs> for Saturday, that'd be kind of cool. So, But uh, anyways, uh, for today, that's going to be it. So thanks for watching and stuff today. And uh, we'll talk at you guys tomorrow.